Hello, hello. Welcome to Four Guys Friday, except it's not Four Guys Friday because we're not playing Four Guys. Today, we're taking a break from Four Guys to play uh, Yono and the Celestial Elephants, the 2017, ga 2017 game by Neckbolt, and it just seems really, really cute. So, let's get into it. Start a new game. I'm Sundara. I saw you fall from the sky. What kind of thing are you? Well met, Sundara. My name is Yono. I'm an elephant. I'm a human. Nice to meet you. I'm on the lookout for an adventure, which is why I'm out here in the wilderness. Then I saw this big shiny star fall from the sky, and I figured that would be a good place to look. That's how I found you so quick. That's what I'm here for, too. I'm ready for an adventure. There's a small village just up ahead. It's called Windhill. That's where I was when I saw the star. Come on, I'll take you there. Follow me. So yeah, looks pretty cute. What are the controls? What is that? Oh, is that like, I guess I'm breathing? Got like a charge attack. Okay. Okay. Let's get going. Omis Peninsula. Oh. Okay. Wait, did that... Okay, I'm losing health when I respawn. Okay. Good to know. Can I... Can I kill that turtle? Oh, hello, I got a pot on my back. Oh, okay, that broke it. Can I pick up oh, I can pick up the turtle. Oh, what's this? Secret forest jar shrine. Please don't lift my jars. Don't stand in front of them and press your interact button. Oh, I see, there's the buttons down there in the corner. They break easily. Thank you for your concern. Well, fuck. Oh, I can throw. These big boulders are blocking the path. I jumped over them uh, before, but maybe you will want to find another solution. No offense. I'd wager even rocks like these are no match for that mighty skull of yours. Are you calling me any, like, thick? I'll see you down the road. Try and keep up. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure about this Sandara chick. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> wow, you really pulverized those bowlers. How strong are you? I bet you can push this big heavy box around like it was nothing. Just keep walking right into it for a while until it starts moving. Really put your back into it, you know? Firstly, I can't even budge it. Well, I'll run ahead. Don't total. <laughs> Here we go. Whoop. Didn't mean to do that. Where did Dara go? Okay. Whatever. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Look at all these dandelions. Don't you want to blow them all out? Got Bluffy. I mean, your nose is huge. Just imagine what a mighty gust you can whip up with that thing. Anyway, we're not far from Windhill now. Just a bit more. I'll meet you again when we get there. So long. <laughs> Whoop. 
Okay. Ah, I see. I'm getting coins or something. Okay. There's no big secret or anything. It. Right? And what's this? Sindara, where are you? Oh, I'm probably going to have to move that block. Right, rather. Remember that. B for blow. Uh. No? No, oh, interact. Okay. You found a health token. Collect four of these and take them to your nearest health token exchange service and tr trade them in for an extra health container. Hey, neat. Nice to see you. Normally it's uh, Fall Guy Fridays, but uh, today we're taking a break from Fall Guys. Play Yono and the Celestial Elephant. It's plural. Uh, you're not gonna talk. Yay! You made it all the way. I knew you would. Windy Hill is right here. It's just a small village, nowhere near the size of Nightingale City, where I'm from. It's a cute place though, and it's quiet, peaceful, and remote. Just the thing, if you find that you need to disappear for a little while. Okay, Zendara's got some kind of dark past, running away from crimes, needing to disappear. Okay, we're learning. See, this is how they, this is like good storytelling. I'll make my way back to Nightingale City eventually, but for now, I'm loafing around in these parts of the world. Yeah, laying low till the heat dies down. By the way, don't be shy to go and talk to people. That's really the best way to learn more about what is going on around here. And don't hesitate to talk to the same person several times, either. I find that most people just love the sound of their own voices. And almost everyone has many interesting things to say if you just prod them a little. I myself have been bothering every stranger I've met all the way from Nightingale City. Okay. Do you have anything to say? <laughs> so I've been thinking. Elephants are supposed to be these mighty protectors of the world, right? They appear in times of great distress to restore harmony, isn't that so? I think so. I'm not sure. So if you're here now, from thin air, does that mean something really, really bad is about to happen to the world? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm the harbinger of destruction. <laughs> and you're just gonna say the same thing again? So how are you doing today, Neat? Uh, how do I? Oh, here we go. This way, Wind Hill, small village with a big wind obsession. A small, big wind obsession? Okay. Never let you boat. Yeah, things are going okay. Oh, I lost my turtle friend. Where's my turtle friend? Oh, Sandara's gone. Okay. Windhill. Something is scribbled beneath something is scribbled beneath the name. Ingrid was here. Okay. Oh. Hoping you can hit people. <gasps> Good day. Oh, hello there, little one. You startled me. Pray tell, what exactly are you? Some sort of animal? I'm terribly sorry to ask. If it is rude, I mean. It's just you may be very well be the first four legged creature I have ever talked with. It's quite all right, ma'am. I'm an elephant. An elephant, you say? How curious. I've never even heard of elephants before. I have come here to help people and do my best to bring joy to the world. 
Well, that sounds positively splendid. Welcome to Windhill, little elephant. Our village is not big, but it is quite charming, wouldn't you say? I think you can make many new friends here if you just take a look around. I remember to talk to <gasps> people multiple times. I'm just looking for an excuse to sneak off to my secret jar shrine in the forest. Oh dear. I guess we found out who that shrine belonged to. <gasps> Here in Windhill, we take great pride in our wind-powered lifestyle. Here, everything runs on the energy from the wind. <gasps> There's a barber shop further up the hill. If you have some coins, why don't you take a visit and see if you can find a new style you might fancy? Okay, people really do have a lot to say. Um, a train on the building? And I ah. Uh, Let's aim this right. Ah, oh, just bounced right off his head. Can I read the books? No. <gasps> Did you know that the Mekani? Mm, Mekani. Mekani built a whole network of subterranean railways all over the kingdom? One day I'm going to ride a train all the way to Nightingale City. I'm too small to ride that far. Can the railroad take you anywhere? Yes, all major cities and a lot of other places as well. But you'll have to visit the cities first, by yourself, before you can take a train there. That's why I'm not allowed to ride. Yet. In the meantime, I wear my trusty adventure helmet. Uh, it's more like a goldfish bowl. Not sure how you breathe in that. When I grow up, I want to travel all over the world and write articles and books all about the places I visit. Okay. Choo-choo! So this sounds like some kind of fast travel world. Uh, I, how do I... I want to pick up jars. Okay. Windhill. Halfway point. Windhill to Nightingale City. Hedgehog Tunnel. Hey, Magoop. You just gonna lurk while you work? Fair enough. Nightingale City. Okay. I'm guessing that these will all be locations we visit later on in the game. I like this song. Okay. I guess we go this way. Whoa, 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 what the heck was that? How did I do that? It was like... Oh, I don't know. Ooh, but can I pick this up? Yes, chicken friend. And what are you, little... Reminds me of the robot that used to play, like, the, the Ness, the SNES. What was his name? Robbie? Is it Robbie the Robot? I feel like they're all called Ro Robbie the Robots. Good day, sir. Why? Aren't you a strange creature? If you don't mind me asking, sir, what exactly are you? I am an elephant. My name is Yono. You're a pretty strange one yourself. Fucking hell, Yono. Oh, not at all, sir. I'm a Makani. I come from the robotic city-state of Freehaven. If you were wondering what I'm doing down here in Windhill, sir, the answer is that I am on vacation. Oh, okay. End of conversation. Did you know, sir, that Freehaven was founded by the Makani almost 300 years ago? It is our own glorious city-state, and we are even governed by our own robotic laws. Freehaven is still part of the kingdom, mind you, sir, and subject to the human queen. That is why I travel all the way to this picturesque little village without any passport or anything. What a time to be alive. Okay, we're learning more about these robot people. And we've got a... Well, we'll come back for that windmill. I guess we'll go... Oh, who's this? Wow. Wow. The old man who lives down over here is so, so scary. He's the village undertaker and... And... And he's a zombie. A zombie? What do you mean? I mean he's not alive. He's no less a corpse than those he has undertaken to undertake. He's wearing a long black cloak. His hands are as cold as the breath of death. And his face is as white as bone. 
It gives me the heebie-jeebies. What are you doing here by his house, then? I want to get a good look at him, of course. This is so exciting. Wow. Hour two of my super scary ghost hunt. The Undertaker has still not left his house. Question, is he able to leave his coffin behind? Uh, oh, is this the Undertaker's? Oh, I get to bring my chicken inside. Okay, well, this is clearly not a house. Whoa. Oh, I went through the door. Oh, that's not well designed. Um, hmm. So I guess down here? Must be the Undertaker's? If she's watching. Okay, yeah, that... Oh, far out. Okay, we gotta be careful around doors. Oh, I didn't mean to throw my chicken. Oh, boy. Hello, stranger. You are new to these lands. Yes, yes I am. In fact, I just landed. I have never seen an elephant before. They say it's an omen of good things to come for both the living and the dead. I am one of the Bone Whites. We are the walking remains of the long time dead, eternally enjoying the beauty of this world. I've never met a dead person before. How come you do not lie buried in the ground yourself? It is because of the Sunder Garden. Hundreds of years ago, a huge battle took place in the fields that are now called the Sunder Garden. Sunder Garden? Sunder Garden. Sunder Garden? Probably Sunder Garden. The two armies were the largest the world had ever seen, and so equal in strength that not one of them could defeat the other. Well then, wouldn't they just both kill each other, like, completely? Like a Pyrrhic victory? Or at least like a Pyrrhic tie? The blood path lasted for days until not a single warrior was left standing. There was no victor. Okay, yeah, there, there we go. But the dead bodies of the warriors sank into the earth like seeds, and these ancient cadavers are now sprouting bone whites like me. We spring from the ground like flowers, and exist in this world without aging or dying. The Sunder Garden is our home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Yono. It sounds like a place of wonder. The sacred serap <laughs> The sacred cemetery is the most beautiful place on this earth. <laughs> okay, this game is interesting uh priorities. What are you doing in Windhill? I work here. I think that they're just um tombstones are uh, neat. Uh, I imagine, I don't know, if you're born, would you really want to bury other bodies? I mean, I guess maybe he's hoping that they'll one day rise from the dead as well, if he plants them, I guess, rather than leaving them out to just become, I don't know, weird. I work here. I work here as the village undertaker. This is a nice little place, and the task of grave digger suits me. The humans think of it as a lowly and undignified job, but to me it makes little difference if I dig holes in the ground or if I do something else. The status of my occupation holds no value, so I might as well dig graves. It also puts me in contact with a lot of deceased human bodies, 
which are objects I can find endless fascination with. Uh, okay. He's doing... Hmm, okay. Death is a curious thing, is it not? Yes, that's my voice, Narf, and hello, Narf. What is... Th what is the Sunder Garden like? The humans call it the city-state of the Bone Whites, but I don't see it that way. The humans and Makani think of it as a city, but they like cities and can only describe the world in terms they know. But the Sunder Garden have no walls or houses, no farms or trading posts. We need not eat nor sleep, so why would we build these things? Hi, Hattie. Eh, already you two are teaming up to be perverts. We need not eat or sleep, uh, so why would we build these things? Material goods, which seem so important to the humans, are irrelevant to us. And such things would only disturb the peacefulness of the place. Okay, and we've seen this conversation before. But okay, I guess we've learnt some stuff about... So we got zombies, we got robots. There's a lot going on in this world. I hope you guys are writing all this down because it seems like it's going to be a lot to keep track of. Okay. Now we've learnt that what she meant by a zombie. Whoa! I'm a card-carrying member of the Wind Hill Pirate Club. It's a secret, though, so promise you won't tell anyone. Okay. Uh, do you have anything more to say? Are there any other robots around here? <laughs> I'm really losing the voices as I go along. Well, sir, I did meet this large fellow who was a vending machine, but there are mostly just humans in these parts. I expect you'll meet more Makani if you ever visit the capital city. But of course, sir, you should go to Freehaven if you really want to meet more robots. Oh, she's got like a sack of gold or maybe potatoes back there. <gasps> here in Windhill, we take great pride in our wind-powered lifestyle. Everything here runs on energy from the wind. Okay. Uh, so we've been in the train place. We have not been in the, this red diamond place. Okay. You're a big boy. Welcome, adventurer. This is your health token exchange service speaking. How can I help you today, sir? Token exchange? Indeed, sir. This is the place to trade in your health tokens for extra health containers. One brand new container is for tokens. I see. So whenever you have collected four health tokens, you can come to me or to one of my associates and exchange them for more one more health container, which will increase your maximum health. That's very nice of you. I'll certainly bring health tokens back here when I find them. Always glad to be of service, sir. Have a good day. Sadly, this is not enough for a new health container. Welcome back. Come back again when you have collected four. Have a good day, sir. Oh, how do you see to brag about his love life? Typical. Why do you find it hard to believe that you've actually started dating again, Hattie? You are a very helpful little creature, aren't you? I sure am, sir. It is my... Eternal design. Internal design. My ancestors were once constructed to serve the humans. Oh, this is getting weird. We are free now, of course. But you know what they did... What they say about old habits. Thank you for all your help. Always a pleasure, sir. Okay. Oh, shit. I hope that chicken can swim. Uh, chicken. Oh, dear. Why did that chicken not respawn? The turtle respawned. Oh, there it is. There it is. Sorry, it's up there. 
I can certainly relate to that, um, Big Hattie. The idea of not looking for love, but finding it. And Narf, of course, thinks love is just a sham. <gasps> the professor who lives just around the corner from here has a map of the entire Nightingale Kingdom. I'm sure he'll let you take a peek at it if you visit him. <gasps> yep, we've had that before. Um, we've been in here? Hard to keep track of all these places. <laughs> Jesus Christ now. Oh, this must be the professor. Uh, okay, did not mean to jump over that. Uh, maybe I should try my blow. Okay, they're just that. Help me! My scientific experiments seem to have attracted a whole lot of Snokes. They've invaded my cellar, and I can't go down there anymore. Maybe I can help you clear them out. Oh, could you? They are nasty little creatures, but they are not very dangerous if one is careful. If you find any treasure down in the cellar, you can keep it as a reward for helping me with the Snoke problem. If? No, I expect uh, compensation for my labor, old man. Hmm? Snokes are a member of the Viperidae family, but they are not venomous to humans. They are, however, known to be very aggressive, even towards creatures much larger than themselves. Are they venomous towards elephants, old man? I need to know this before I, I go in there. One single snoke is easily dealt with, but they often group together in large numbers and can make them quite dangerous. A group of snokes is called a pit. Okay. Oh, is that the map? Okay, so where are we? We're down in Windhill. Oh, and there's Oma, Oma's Peninsula where we landed. Oh, and then we've got Hedgehog Forest, Nightingale City, Free Haven's over there, Trollmoss Forest, the Sunder Garden where the zombies come from, Free Haven, of course, is where the robots come from, Acorn Woods, and then the Woolly Mountains. Okay, okay. Exactly right, Hattie. You're doing what you want to do. Okay, uh, I'm less enthusiastic about the perverts finding each other, but whatever. Oh, okay, we can zoom right on in. I don't need to do that, though. Hmm? I could study this map for hours. Windhill, Nightingale City, the Sunder Garden, and Freehaven. It's all there. There should be a map like this in every town. And we just received one here in Windhill. Hmm? I could study the... Okay, you, you said that already. Hmm? We shall ride bad dragons into the sunset together. Bad dragon, as in bad... Dragon? The bad dragon? I don't understand this conversation at all that's going on in my chat. Where's this go? Ooh. Okay, I guess... Oh, right, we're going down to... Uh, kill vipers, I guess. Ah. Ah. I, sorry, I, I didn't realize that they were going to hurt me. I kind of got spooked. That was simple. Just three of them. I should have tried throwing the chicken at them. And what did we find? Oh, another health token. Yep. Oh, you've already covered that. I'm not elaborating for... It's THE bad dragon. Oh, I threw my chicken. Stand here. Come on. What the fuck is this? Ah! There we go. You're ten times worse than a pervert, are you, Hattie? Hmm? Yeah. Hmm? Okay. Don't acknowledge the fact that I killed all those. Thanks. 
Okay. So I guess we're gonna go. What's this? Oh! Oh well. I guess it's. Oh, okay. Windy Hills Candy Pirate Club. No grown ups allowed. If you can p get past our obstacles, you will find our treasure. Mm oh, a box. Box. A box moving puzzle. A box moving puzzle. Okay, let's think this through. I guess I want to move this one. This way. And this one. That away. When should you ever be a pervert, Narf? I can't think of any situation that calls for being a pervert. Where the hell is this treasure that they promised? I can't... I don't want to get up there. Oh, uh, maybe... Ether blow? Oh, no. I didn't expect that to launch me. No, I guess they can't get up. Oh, okay. That worked. I'd... Hmm. There we go. Oh, there's more. I thought we were... Okay. Um, okay. Oh, first, let's try... Okay. Why is... Oh, there's a... Button for... Getting up there, okay. Oh, I see. It's a bridge. And I guess I go this way? You should be a pervert when you're with someone that you should be doing pervert things with. You just gotta be who you are. Unless that you're a pervert. In which case, be someone else. I guess this is for getting back. Oh, that's the lock on. Okay. Wah. 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 Last turning elephant. Um, okay. I see where... Ah! Okay, how many is that? That makes three? If you're told not to be a perfect, you just gotta double down. Mm, disagree. Um, 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 um. Oh, but the big boulder doesn't respawn. Okay. Okay, and what's up this way? Don't know what the coins are for yet. Oh, and this must be the storeroom we wanted into. Whoa. Nothing ever, nothing interesting ever happens here. I want to go on an adventure, back in the spooky stories. Okay, whatever, lady. Oh, chicken, chicken, chicken. Uh... I guess we'll try this way. What did I do to have such perverts in my chat? Oh, double chicken. Double chicken. And who are you? Oh. Oh. Good day. I am a traveling marble merchant. I sell marbles. 
that's very nice. How is business going? Not good at all. I put down the merchandise for a short while, and now I can't for the life of me remember where I put it. Ah, he's lost his marbles. <laughs> I beat you under the punch there. Have you lost your marbles? Yes, I have. I can't find them anywhere. I'll help you look. You will? Yes, I'm an elephant. I'm here to bring peace and harmony and to help anyone in need. I will find your marbles for you. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, there's a uh, Sundara. Uh, what's going on, Sundara? Oh, hey there, you know. Look at this sleeping boy I found. Uh, okay. Can we keep him? Let's uh, leave sleeping people alone, Sundara. This might be why she was chased out of night uh, Nightingale. Judging from his clothes and shaved head, I'd wager he's a monk from the temple in the city, though he can hardly be more than a novice. And that makes me wonder what he's doing all the way out here. Or perhaps what he should be doing instead of dozing off. Narf, I'm not going to play favorites with the people in my chat. Because I hate you all equally. Or perhaps what he should be... Uh, yes, I read that. Wouldn't it be hilarious to wake him up in a really startling fashion? Maybe I should re yell really loudly in his ear. No, wait. Let's splash a bucket of water in his face. That would certainly be a right laugh. Don't you think he'll be upset? Look at it this way. He's most likely here in Windhill for a reason. Some pilgrimage or mission or something. And if that's the case, he probably shouldn't be sleeping like this in the first place. In fact, I bet he'll be thankful if you wake him up. Uh, okay, Sundara. Begin to see... Uh, except you, Magoop. You mean, uh, I don't hate you, or that I... Don't love you equally, Magoo. <laughs> okay, okay, I get it, Sundara. You want me to blow air in his face, but I'll leave that for now. Oh, I'm still looking for your lost marbles. I'm sure I left them somewhere around here. I think I lost them when I was resting beneath a tree. Beneath a tree, you say? Oh, nothing there. I hear a dog barking. Oh, and this must be the barber shop. Uh, okay, let's go in. Welcome to the Wind Hill Barbershop. What can I do for you today? Something cheerful and light? Or maybe you were looking for something that brings out the mystery in you. Yes, yes, this elephant would like a haircut that is mysterious. Maybe blue. Oh, I see, I can change my color. Maybe blue, yellow thing. Last Nomad. Oh, okay, we're going for some copyright infringement, are we? Oh, the white elephant. Uh, okay. Chess master? Mmm, no. Scarlet. Green stripes. Festival. Spots? Eh. Exact purple. Fluffy clouds. Yeah, I like the chick. I'm, I miss my turtle. I, uh, you assume that I don't hate you, because how could you? No, that is true. Magoop, Magoop's a Magoop's one of the good ones. I don't hate Magoop. We can establish that. Out of all the people I hate in the chat, I hate Magoop the least. Ooh, it's kind of cool. But I think I'll stick for a uh, baby blue for now because I don't know what else I can spend my money on. Plus, uh, I just like the baby blue. 
Um, okay. Can I talk to you? Whoop. You have a name, Hattie? Oh, are you talking about the chicken? Oh, hang on. Oh, I skipped through something. I am an elephant. I have come this to this realm to help people in need. Wow, that certainly is grand, for I am indeed in need. Do you see my crops over there? I just can't get them to grow. Why not? What do they need? Beats me. Maybe they just need some water. Has been rather dry as of late. Maybe you can find a tub of water somewhere and fill up that prolonged proboscis of yours. That certainly sounds like a job for me. I'm on it. Okay. It looks like I may be able to learn how to suck as well as blur. I wonder if that's what Sundara is waiting for me to do. Oh, maybe actually... <laughs> Come to think of it, I bet you're spect- Okay, I don't see, I, I skipped past this. But yeah, she's hinting that, okay, we're gonna have to learn how to pick up water if we're gonna progress further in, in this. Oh, that's how you get up here. Yeah, what? I hate you. Oh, well, I, I feel like that was pretty obvious. No, if I, I did say that I hate you all equally. Except for Magoop. Magoop's one of the good ones. Um, 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 um. Nothing in here. Oh. I like inequality. I'm just saying. Sometimes. No, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I'm going to abandon that joke. Ooh, found the marbles. What do I... Oh, I know what I've got to do. I've got to put my chicken down. Hang on, I'll put the chicken with the other chickens. Where are the other chickens? I thought there were chickens up here. Where did the other chickens go? Okay, well, you're going to have a chicken, farmer. <laughs> Almost, but not quite, Hattie. Uh, here we go. Yo, I got your marbles, bro. Oh, oh look, you found my lost marbles. Fantastic. Now I can go right back to business. How can I ever repay you? Not necessary at all. I'm happy to help. You deserve a reward. I'll give you 300 coins. What do you think about that? Please, keep your money. Fucking hell, Yana. As an elephant, I'm just here to help. I don't want anything in return. I'm just doing what I am here to do. We can use that money, though. Really? Elephants are truly magical. It's nice to have one walk the earth again. It's been ages since the last time there was an elephant. You know what I will do. I will travel to Nightingale City and donate the coins to the monks at the temple. And see, this is this is why you accept the money. Otherwise, it's just going to the, those useless monks at the temple. Like, what are they going to do with it? That sounds like a very good idea. You don't know anything about this world, what those monks are, or what the temple does, you know. Why does that sound like a good idea to you? Fantastic. Thanks again, Mr. Elephant, for all your help. I am so happy you are here. Just wait until the people in the capital city hears about your arrival. Ooh. Thanks again for finding my lost elephants, Mr. Marble. I'm going to travel to Nightingale City and donate to the monks of the temple. I've been cancelled in your heart, Narf? Oh dear, that's very sad. And in your pants. Well, I'm somewhat happy for that. Being cancelled in your pants. Seems like a good thing from my perspective. Okay, let's see. How do we go about... 
Oh, there we go. Ooh, he gets a bit bloated. He's a bit of a big boy now. Oh, coins everywhere. Okay. I'm gonna do this a couple times. Ooh. Got it. And those last ones. Whoa, boom. Oh, that's what that little ledge was for. Another health token. Hey, that's four health tokens. We can go trade him in now. Oh. You did it. You made all my... I've forgotten this guy's voice already. You made all my plants grow. That certainly was a, the most glorious display of nose action. No, nose action? I have ever seen. This guy has done some cocaine in his time. He knows about the nose action. At least since my grandma sneezed that one time. Oh. Yeah, that's the same thing again. And we can pick up our chicken again. Now we want to pour some water on this monk. What? What's going on? I'm awake. I'm awake. Hello there, sleepyhead. My name is Sundara, and this is my friend Yono. He's an elephant. Hi, Sundara. I'm pleased to meet you. My n name is Kai, and I... Wait, did you say elephant? Ivory above. You really are an elephant. You have the trunk and ears and everything. I... I can't believe my eyes. Believe it, Buster. He looks just like that big statue in the town square. And it is true, all of it. That means that there are blessed times, that, that these are blessed times indeed. I'm glad my presence means so much to you, but I wouldn't exactly say... It means everything. Most people nowadays regard elephants as creatures of myth. They know nothing of you at all. There have been over a thousand years since this world was last visited by an elephant. And the memories from those times have transformed to fancy legends and fairy tales. The temple in Nightingale City is trying to keep the old traditions alive, but we are only a handful of monks nowadays. And desperate enough to initiate just a, to initiate just about anyone, it seems. Ha ha ha. Sundara, that wasn't a very nice thing to say. It's true though. I was sent here to Windhill on a mission. But what that mission is, was never really specified. I suspect they just wanted me out of the temple for a while, after the incident with the tapestry and the soup, and the cat, and the ancient vase. Oh man, I wish I could have seen that. But I'm glad I am here now, and get to see Yono the Elephant with my own eyes. I must guide you back to Nightingale City. How surprised the other monks will be when I, the Lost Hope, turn back together with the next elephant. I'm from Nightingale City as well, and that's where all the real action is. Now that Yono is here, we should totally spread the good news to all the people of the kingdom. Uh, okay. We'll head north from here, through Hedgehog Forest. Come on, let's go already. Oh dear. Um, but let's not go with them just yet. Because we have four tokens. And we also haven't finished exploring the town. Congratulations, sir. You have enough health tokens for a brand new health container. Your maximum health will be increased by one and your health fully replenished. Have a good day, sir. There we go. Uh, where have we not been yet? Whoop. Went through the exit. Didn't mean to do that. You'll have to be careful around the doorways. We've, yeah, we've been down there. And I think we've been down there as well. That was where the candy pirates hideout is. Pick up my chicken. Bring it along. Pick up my chicken and sing a song. Whoop. Oh. Bye, chicken. 
hang on, maybe I should stand on the platform. Okay, and that went absolutely nowhere. Why does that exist? Who knows? Oh, but the chicken's back. Oh, and the other chickens. They're back too. Okay. Okay, I guess we're ready to go. Oh, I lost my chicken. Oh well. Okay, Sindara, what do you want? You better watch out, Yono. There are a couple of ro rob goblins. This better not be like a racial slur or something in this world. There are a couple of rob goblins down in the valley, and they seem to have blocked the path with a fire. Blocked it? We're in a forest. If there's a fire, like th that's that's a big deal, Sindara. And that's not going to stay confined to just the path. Rob goblins? What are they? <laughs> I feel like Yano is slowly turning into Goofy. Predatory and aggressive little scavengers. Because of their weapons and armor, they look a bit like people, but they're <laughs> really not. They're just attracted to metal and will carry around anything they can find, steal, or plunder. So they look like people, but you're telling me they're not people? I don't. Re I really don't like this, Sundara. <laughs> they are just like what my mom says our lives would be like without a structured society. Nasty, brutish, and short. What the fuck? Without a structured society, nasty, brute. That's a um. That's like a John Locke reference, isn't it? What the fuck, Sundara? What the hell did you do th that made you leave Night uh, Nightingale City in the first place? Did you, th did you think to get rid of the Rob Goblin ambush ahead? They have got to have our only way to the big city. <laughs> I really don't... <laughs> this game has some weird undertones. <laughs> Ever since I can remember, I have always wanted to believe in the stories. That's why I became a monk in the first place. To learn more about the mystical elephants who came to our world every millennium to restore balance and harmony in a realm of chaos. And now you are here, which confirms my beliefs and brings a purpose to my whole life. I was so lost. I am terribly sorry for the state of the world, you know. There are rob goblins all over the place. But it's a real hassle to travel between cities. I'm afraid you'll have to see a fight or two before we reach our journey's end. I'll certainly do my best. I have faith in you. Well, obviously. But you know what I mean. So we're like the elephant messiah. And we're going to kill these things that look like people's. But turn it. Oh, ah, got a hedgehog friend. Hedgehog friend on my head. Hedgehog. Ooh, more hedgehog friends. Oh, okay. guy. Okay, maybe, maybe the rub goblins aren't people. Oh, I threw a hedgehog at you. Go, 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 go. Ah, ah. Go. Go, you know. Ah. You suck. Okay, maybe that's how I do it. Oh. Oh. You're gonna cancel me preemptively. Okay, how do I... No, I guess I guess I probably have to find. Yeah, there's some water. Uh, let's grab a hedgehog friend. Nothing down there. Anywhere I can get some help. Anywhere would be helpful. Let's check out this doorway. What's in here? More hedgehogs. Oh, I see. Just push the crate over there, and then I can. Ooh, lots of coins. But I suppose we were right to um, support the temple now. It turns out that they believe we're the elephant messiah. So maybe we could fix the world without like invoking some kind of reverent worship of ourselves. Just a thought. This is kind of a narrow ledge for an elephant to be walking on.
is this. By the Queen's order, Hedgehog Tunnel has been filled with traps. This is an attempt to keep the rub goblins out. Please proceed with caution. Okay, seems simple enough. Whoop! Oh boy! Oh, that spike went right through that hedgehog. Is it still alive? It's not moving. Oh boy. I think I killed that hedgehog. I mean, I suppose someone must come through here pretty regularly to clean all the dead hedgehogs off the spikes. You know, because the hedgehogs are going to wander in here. Oh boy. Oh, they're fast moving. Ah! Ah! Ah, the attacks are pretty finicky in this game. The fact that I can get like caught up against an enemy and be attacking right into them, not actually hit, is weird. Ah, I'm gonna double team by these snakes. Ah. Kind of gotta run away and then boom. Ooh, what is that? Okay, it's like a key. Uh, do I... How do I... Okay, like that. More rub goblins. Ah, that's gonna annoy the hell out of me. The fact that I can be too close to attack. Okay. Guess I'll pick up some water while I'm here. What is it for? Who knows? There we go. Now I'm getting the hang of this combat. There's a windmill on the water. Oh, I see. This is for... No, I don't get it. Oh, maybe I'm... Maybe I'm supposed to push the... block onto the thingy. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm getting it now. I'm getting it. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, I've done that. Oh, they're up there, and then I need to go get some more water. Drink it all up. To put the water in the elephant and drink them both up. I said, Doctor, is there anything I take? I said, Doctor, to relieve this belly ache. I said, Doctor. Oh, what the frick? I missed completely. And then I burnt my little elephant nose. Ding. Whoa. There we go. Okay, what do I do with this? Oh, there's a key up here. Okay, so that unlocks the door. What is going on down here with these? Where am I now? Ooh, secret area. Okay, so you can get coins from respawned vases. That's useful to know. I guess you can never really run out of money then. Oh, 
Uh, I guess I don't really need to hit every vase then. I want that treasure chest. Remember that's up there. Oh boy. Ah, I do like that explosion noise. It feels very satisfying. The cable raft system is out of order during low tide. Sorry for the inconvenience. Okay. Oh, are we going to learn about water wheels now? There we go. And then I push this. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, we need more water. I see another water wheel. snakes with my big elephant no oh and we got some dandelions oh but I have to get all of them because I'm not sure if there are any left or not okay The fact, yeah, that really is annoying, and I don't see how it couldn't have come up in game in testing. The fact that you're up against something you can't headbutt, or like rather you headbutt, but it doesn't hit. Very annoying. Okay, that's two health tokens. Chug friend, bringing you with me. Wait a minute, is that that goddamn fishbowl head guy from uh, the train station before? Whoop, didn't mean to throw you. Oh well. <gasps> Hello, bet you didn't expect to meet me here. Can you guess how I got here? I snuck on a train and rode it all the way to this weird tunnel. It was awesome. It was the best. I'm glad to hear that, but this tunnel is full of traps and rob goblins. It could be dangerous. Yeah, I know. I'm just not really going to venture further into the tunnel. I just wanted to ride the train. I'm going to sneak back onto one and go home to Windhill again. By the way, you want to tell... You want me to tell you something about trains? I know a lot about trains. Okay. Whenever you arrive at a new place, it's a good habit to seek out and check in at the train station so that you can quickly travel there again in the future. That's all from me. Time to ride the train back to Windhill. <gasps> I'm going to sneak onto an underground train and go home to Windhill again. And what does this sign say? Halfway point, Windhill to Nightingale City, Hedgehog Tunnel. Oh, and we've got more here. Okay, that's three of them. Um, hmm, why is that all by itself over here? Well, let's head back to Windhill just for a quick break. Gosh, I like this song. anything new to say did you know that trains did you know that the train engines use boiling water to move they make sounds like huge dragons <gasps> and you've already said that but let's go buy a new color uh where is the barbershop it was all the way at the top wasn't it
Here we are. I want that yellow one. Oh, I didn't notice that it comes with like a gradient to red feet. Hmm. What are you hmm-ing about, Patty? Normal people probably eat spaghetti with a fork, right? Yeah, that's pretty normal. Just thinking. Well, I'll let you do some thinking because we've just gone past the hour mark and I want to take a quick break. I'll leave it on the game so you guys can enjoy this fun track stare into Yono's eyes while I'm gone. I'll be back in just a minute.
Okay, I'm back. Break time's over. Let me just do a little bit of this. Okay, now everything should be back in order. Have you finished thinking about your spaghetti fork dilemma, Patty? And Narf, I'm not sure what you're what wetting about because there are so many things that confuse you in this world. Okay, we got new color. Uh, let's get back to the road. Okay. Uh, that's where we came from. So let's go this way. You decided to use a fork instead of your hands. Uh, a wise decision, I would say. Oh, is it the pillar that I have to hit? No, oh, it is. That's interesting. Ching, 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 ching. I did not think this through. Oh, okay. Saved it. Using your hands to eat spaghetti makes it harder to drive. Are you eating spaghetti while driving? Uh, what's up here then? Why can I do that? Oh, I guess it's for getting back, but I can't. Okay, I get to do the puzzle again. You're not. It's just for your advice for someone who thinks about these things. Well, okay. I'll bear that in mind next time I'm eating spaghetti and need to drive somewhere. Okay, we need a key. I found a key. There we go. Oh, I gotta throw my hedgehog down to pick up the key. Goodbye, little hedgehog. And hello, little hedgehog. I get to pick you back up again. What the hell is this? Uh, okay. I guess we're learning about switches. Oh, we found a key. Goodbye, little hedgehog. Not sure why that appears and disappears with a Wah! kind of noise. It's more of a gasp. Uh, like that. Okay. Whoa. Different buttons. Okay, that moves that. What does this do? That opens a door. Okay, but we don't need an open door just yet if we can't get over there. Hey, Lou! And Remy, of course. How's things? Um, hmm. How the hell do I blow on that? Oh, I guess maybe I'll just stand here and blow. Okay, there we go. Uh, what can I hear moving about? Okay, this is getting strange. 
Ah, oh, Remy's in the way, is he? Okay, let's... So this is a timed crate. You know how useful those crates are. Oh, just made it. What? Switch here, what does this do? It does that. Why does it do that? Um, I'm gonna guess that I need to push this over there so that I can get water from up there. Let's push this back first just to see what's over here. And not a lot, okay. Goodbye, hedgehog friend. Did not mean to do that. Okay, I guess I gotta throw some water down to get that going first. What, what's up? Oh, there's a rub goblin up there. What's up here? More stuff and things. Ooh, and a chest. Oh, but it's just coins and money. And they fell down there. <sighs> okay. Come on. Ah, you bastard. Oh. Okay. I don't have to move the crate again when I respawn it. That's helpful. Okay, and that switch is already flicked, but that is not in the right position anymore. Gosh, so many things to keep track of. Okay, let's see what this does. It doesn't do anything, it just spins the water wheel. Um, oh, I bet I have to be on, on that platform to get over there. So if I flick this, uh, that. Come on. Here we go. That was stupid. Oh, okay. And then drop down there. Pick that up. The lady you're seeing asked what you were doing, and you told her the truth. Ah, oh, that, that was a big mistake. Never tell the truth in relationships. That's like rule number one. You're thinking about how best to eat spaghetti in traffic. Well, I suppose that's not the worst thing you could have told her. And you're saying things are good. Been having lots of fun with uh, Fallout 4 lately. Just good old unadulterated fun. Currently working on making custom patches in X-Edit for Skyrim. Well, that does sound like a very loo thing to be doing. So now we have a discussion about the topic. Yes! Isn't that wonderful news, isn't it, Lou? We've been praying for him, haven't we? Praying for Hattie. Um, anything else going on in here? No, I guess not. 
Ooh. Hedgehog friend. This way to Nightingale City. Yingrid was here. More of this Yingrid person. Actually, we haven't seen uh, the monk or uh, Zendara for a while. Did the monk have a name or was he just a monk? So many points you didn't think of. Driving a manual versus automatic makes a big difference. Where you keep the ball. Oh, we're already at Nightingale City, I guess. I guess these guys... Hey, hey. This is Nightingale City. Word of your arrival is spread, elephant. And quick in at Cintharia. Queen Cintharia wishes to see you forthwith. Please proceed into the city. Hey. Hey. Oh, wow. You really are an elephant. We heard rumors the new elephant has come, but I didn't know what to believe. Welcome to Nightingale City, home of the royal family and high seat of the kingdom. The queen wants to talk to you, and I suggest you seek her out in the castle right away. This is so exciting. Hey. Hey. The best option really is to fumble with everything and put it in the wrong gear as your car drives at 5 miles per hour lurching to a stop every 10 feet as you frantically trying to eat spaghetti, getting the sauce all over you in the process. Obviously the best option. Oh, there's us. Big old elephant. And there's the monk. First let's talk to this lady. <gasps> Nightingale City is the capital of the kingdom. To the north is the Sunder Garden, city of the dead. And to the east is Freehaven, the Makani's attempt at a sustainable political un a Attempt? At a sus- Weird- I get weird vibes from this game, you know? There are these little, little choices of phrase that, that are curious. <gasps> so many different people live in Nightingale City. And not only humans. Makani are very nice. They are polite and always eager to help you out. But the Bone Whites are a bit freaky, if you ask me. It's difficult to understand what they really want, and you can't get any sort of connection with them, you know? It's like they don't have any real presence at all. <gasps> Nightingale City has one of the oldest temples in the world. It's not very active nowadays, but is an astounding collection of artifact and lore. The monks who live there seem to... Me, more like librarians and curators than monks. Naga, the warrior pacifist. What? The warrior pacifist? Also, this elephant has... Like, six legs? I... Okay, and like, butterfly ears. Maybe this is like, the myth being distorted over time? Oh, Kai was the monk's name. Hi, you made it. This is Nightingale City. You already knew that. I wanted to show you the temple and the rest of the monks. I can't wait to see the Grand Master's face when he sees you. But the Queen has issued a demand to meet you, and I don't really think you should keep her waiting for very long. Where is Tundara? Oh, she went up ahead towards the castle. I don't know. She seemed a little nervous to be here for some reason, and I and dodged out of sight pretty quickly. I don't trust her, Yono. I think there's something she's not telling us. See? I fucking called it. She's a criminal. Did I screw up again? Should I have kept a better eye on her? Discover if she's up to no good? You did good, Kai. I'll go to this castle and see if I meet Sundara along the way. Hey, Yono. Good luck with the queen. Hey, Scotty. Jesus, man. Hey, Yono. Good luck with the queen. Ooh, another barber shop. Ooh. How do you like my new paint job? I went for Racer Rev this time. 
I can't wait to show my friends at tomorrow's party. Is the party tomorrow? Am I invited? I'm an elephant. Ooh, look at this guy's beard. Oh, wow. ooh la la. The latest stars of the season can only be found in Nottingale City. What will it be today, my friend? My elephant chest master. Ooh, I knit you not. I like that. Ooh, pinstripes is nice. Ooh, but denim. Ooh, a panda elephant? Ooh, I like some of these options. Ooh, another copyright infringement. Ooh, Razor Red would match the robot. But I think I'll go with... Like denim. <laughs> Sundara. Sundare. Uh, is this a burn white? Ah. Ah. Though I will return to my grave in the Sundagraden Sunday, I have been staying here in Nightingale City for over 120 years. It's a fascinating place, and it's a very curious thing to watch a city grow like this one have. This one have? Okay. Ah. Nightingale City is a center of commerce, which is a delightfully strange environment to be in. The humans say that we bone whites just don't understand the value of things, but that is not true. We are not nihilists. We do not think that nothing has value. Creativity and art has value. Knowledge and science has value. Life has value. Delicious life. Love has value. See, Narf, love has value. So, the way you were treating Harry, like he's been shackled to some person. <sighs> this statue depicts Elephant Naga, the warrior pacifist. Meh. Meh, you say. Meh, in the face of love. You're such a nihilist, Narf. Of all the past elephants, Naga holds a special place in our still hearts, since she was the one who blessed the soil of the Sunda Garden and allowed the ancient corpses buried there to grow back up. Who needs? You can have freedom and love. Now, if it's not. It's not a binary uh, choice. In fact, maybe love is the ultimate freedom. There are still some bone whites around today who are old enough to have seen her with their own eye sockets. They were the very first ones to rise from their shallow graves in the sacred cemetery. <laughs> okay, oh, well, that's, that's sad to hear, Narf. You were pretty excited about getting that uh, 360 Ti. Yeah, we've already read this one. Oh, and... Oh, hello. Hey. Her Highness wishes to speak with you. She'll be waiting in the throne chamber. I suggest you head there right away. Hey. Well, and I believe we have enough for... Welcome to the Health Token Exchange Service. Are you here to trade in health tokens? You have three health... Oh, we don't have enough. Have a good day, sir. This is what I think of your goddamn shop and your goddamn prices. There, that'll give him something to think about. Hey. Her Highness wishes to speak with you. Okay. I guess we go this way. Oh. Creepy twins. 
Another option would be to have it in a bowl and sort of drink the sp uh, Drinking spaghetti sounds like a good way to start choking. <gasps> I'm Mimi, and I'm Mono. We're twins. We are looking for our lost dog, Mello. He ran away and hasn't come back. If you see him, please bring him back to us. Please. Oh, yeah. If you're lifting the bowl up to drink. <gasps> yep, no, you, you told me this already. Uh, where's the throne room? Is it in here? Nope. This looks like a, I don't know, a press, maybe a book press? What if I wouldn't, okay, how are you gonna get spaghetti through a straw? Hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Garden. Hmm. What? You, you definitely can't have meatballs, though. It... And what is spaghetti without meatballs? Hey. Hey. Smaller meatballs. Can you e even hear yourself be- Oh my god, I think we found the executioner. Again, this game just keeps zigging when I, I think it'll zag. <clears throat> I am the queen's executioner. We often like to forget, but even noble political power is fundamentally an extension of the physical power of violence. What the fuck is with this game? What the fuck? <clears throat> <laughs> oh my gosh. All this weird, like, vi uh, violence. Weird uh, philosophy that keeps getting snuck in here. I thought this was just gonna be like a fun little game for kids, and like it plays like one. Like it doesn't feel very polished. Like they, they're like, ah, oh, it'll just be for kids, kind of. Or like it's a mobile game, maybe. The royal, the royal castle is just up ahead. Follow these stairs to meet the queen. She's waiting in the throne chamber. Okay. I don't know what this room is, but obviously we'll be here later. old bird. Can I pick up this bird? No. Ooh, it's a peacock. I can't really do anything with them. Ooh, it's Sundara again. Why are you... Ooh, turtle friend. Got myself a little turtle friend. He bounces around on my back. I got myself a little turtle friend. Now there's no going back. Nah, didn't like that one. It wasn't one of my best songs. <laughs> Psst, over here! Hi, Sundara. What are you doing sneaking around in the castle garden? Excuse me while this peacock shoves its head into my side. I'm casually avoiding the city guards. But anyway, here's the castle. The queen is waiting for you inside. And form... And form? And from what intelligence I have gathered, she seems to have something important to say to you. Maybe the end of the world is lurking around the bend after all. Don't be so excited about the end of the world, Sundara. Why don't we step inside and meet her then? Maybe you can introduce me. Nope. I'm sorry, but I can't go inside with you. Someone might recognize me, and we wouldn't want that. I just wanted to make sure you found your way to the castle. 
but I'll sneakily sneak off for now, avoiding suspicion. I'll find that goof Kai and meet you downtown, okay? Good luck with the queen! Suntara, what horrific crimes have you committed in this town? <laughs> Why won't you go inside the castle? As I said, someone might recognize me. Okay. I'm meeting the queen in my denim with a turtle on my back. Dum -ba -dum. Hey! 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 I throw a turtle at one of the guys. Hey! 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 I broke one of your vases. Oh. Elephant Yono, we are Her Highness Queen Synthalia. Synthalia, the first. News of your arrival has preceded you, Elephant Yono. It seems the old monks were right, that an elephant would appear in our time of need. Your Highness, I'm glad to be of assistance. Wait, time of need? What does that mean? Our daughter is missing. The young princess has been kidnapped. We assume you have come to find her. Ah. I'm beginning to have some suspicions as to who Zendaya might be. Well, I will certainly do my... Why is it? You're not suddenly turning Cajun. Well, I will certainly do my best to help out. A missing child is a serious matter. Royal offspring or not. That's right. It doesn't matter that she's a princess. The fact that she's a child that's missing is the important bit. Yono's got his priorities straight. Our baby girl has been stolen from us. Worry not, your highness. I will find the lost princess. Who could have taken her, do you think? Those walking corpses from the Sunder Garden, we're sure. Oh, wow. Okay, the queen's racist against the zombies. Rumor has it they steal human children all the time to use in their dark rituals which keep them alive or else to perform sickening experiments on. Okay, we're going to start a, a war against the zombies. <laughs> a little forest gump crossed with a simple country law. We never thought the Bone Whites would have the nerve to stretch out their profane fingers towards the royal family. Wow, this is some vitriolic racism from coming from the head of state. Your Highness, I've m <laughs> I have met a few Bone Whites. I wouldn't say they seem the kind to steal babies. Or else it's the Makani who are behind this. We have known for a long time that unrest is growing in Freehaven. This could very well be part of some barbaric coup to bargain their way, to bargain away their trade taxes. Jesus Christ, they think they 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 kidnapped your child because of trade taxes? Those clockwork brains of theirs can be shrewdly political, and their lack of human emotions makes the robots ruthless and unpredictable. I see, Your Highness. Let me investigate this matter. I'll do whatever I can to get the missing princess back safely to you. At first, we didn't believe in elephants, but since you are here now, we expect you'll be able to solve this with ease. At least, that's the impression we have gotten from the stories, that your kind can move mountains, end wars, and align the planets. With such immense power, we expect you'll be able to find our kidnapped daughter and punish those responsible accordingly. I'll do my best, your highness. Oh. Find our missing princess. I'm on it, your highness. Oh. Hey. 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 
Hey. Hey. Well, yeah, apparently it's been a thousand years since the last Oh, we got another turtle friend appeared, even though I've got one on my back. That's interesting. Apparently it's been a thousand years since an elephant was here. Oh, Zendara's still here. <laughs> Hi ho! How was your meeting with the Queen? Intense character, isn't she? You were right, Zendara. There is a great calamity happening in the kingdom, which I was sent to repair. I know what it is now. Let me guess. The princess is missing? Why, yes. How did you know that? I'm the missing princess, silly. Ah, oh, thank God they weren't going to draw this um out. And I'd rather it stay that way for at least a little while longer. You're the princess? And what are you doing out here? Your mother is very worried about you. I just ran away a little, okay? Oh, everyone's getting uh, American accents the longer this goes on. Have you any idea what life uh, in the court is like? It's all polite conversation here, respectful bows there, exquisite food and fancy dresses. Have you tried making a somersault in a dress? Mm, no, I haven't. Well, I had to get away from it all for a little while. Please don't make me go back in there. My mom would throw a fit if she sees my hair like this. And I want to travel the world. I want to see the Sunder Garden and Freehaven too. And I, I want to do all kinds of weird stuff. Uh, Zendara's a pervert. It's been confirmed. Are you sure? Your mother seemed rather upset. Perhaps it would be better to let her know where you where you are going. Oh, you are clearly not familiar with my mother. We have a world to save, you and I and that monk boy. And even if the world is not in trouble yet, then maybe we'll have to cause some first. Uh, Sundara, your mother's about to go to war. Like, I think you need to tell her that you're okay at the very least. Well, I guess we're going to find out as we travel with Sundara. Kai wanted to meet you at the temple. See if you can... F of course, Narf perks up at the mention of perversion. Uh, see if you can find the klutz, and I'll meet you later. <laughs> okay. So we're just going to wander off with the princess and cause an international incident. Hey! Hey! Um... Okay, I guess we just go around and find Kai. <gasps> I'm Mimi. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yep, you've already talked about that. No one in here. Now we can go this way. What's in here? A bunch of signs. Sign painting workshop. Providing the world with signs. Well, I suppose that explains who makes the signs around here. Weird stuff, like eating handfuls of shredded cheese at 3 a.m. I'm not even sure what my own voice is anymore. I feel like now I'm talking with an accent. Hey! Hey! Oh, looks like we can go that away. What's up here? Ooh, another bone white. I have a health token which I won in a lottery, but I don't have any use for it myself. I know. Why don't you take it? You can trade it in at the health token exchange service. It's so great to have an elephant in the world again. Oh, maybe this one was one of the original uh, bone whites. Well, nice of him to just straight up give me it, and not have to, not make me have to try and do some stupid puzzle or something. We now have enough to... Oh, yep. Drop down here. Where do I want to go? Okay. Eyes not down here. Okay, we did... Whoop. Didn't mean to go back out. Ah. You didn't know that I was Australian.
A very strong bogan accent. I do not have a strong bogan accent at all. It's just in. Evan Yonu is getting ready to begin his journey. But before he goes, will he make a visit to the temple where the monks have been waiting for the next elephant for 1,000 years? Only time will tell. Feel free to tune in anytime you want an update or reminder on what's going on right now. Nah. Yeah. Well, I kind of, um, it's quite common for people to mistake me for American here in Australia. Like, my, uh, ac accent has been pretty heavily influenced by the amount of American media I consume. Ah, I can't get my turtle friend anymore! I threw him behind the counter and now he is gone. You love my accent or you love Hattie's accent? Because, I mean, it's kind of a given that you love my accent. My accent's adorable. I really like this song. The Binding R. What does the Binding R sound like? Give me an example. Uh, oh yeah, we should have enough for... Welcome to the Health Token Exchange Service. Are you here to trade in health tokens? You have four or more health tokens. Congratulations, sir. You have enough health tokens for a brand new health container. Your maximum health will be increased by one, and your health fully replenished. Have a good day, sir. There we go. You use an R sound to connect words. I mean, you said R and not R. 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 Is that how Americans say R? R. Well, there's a map over here. Yep. Got a map. You said something like, I've been influenced uh, by American media. American media and stuff. Mm. American media and... Uh, now, now, uh, now I'm getting too inside my head and putting on my Lawrence Olivier voice. Would that this too, too solid flesh could melt or and resolve itself into a dew. <sighs> yep, now we've talked to this lady about this stuff. Um, now we can go down here now as well. Well, let's, oh, that, that might be the temple there with that elephant on it. Hey! Hey! Uh, we've been in there. Guess we'll check out this area. Kikariki! Kikariki! Oh, it's the marble guy. And we've got some... Oh. Chicken friend. Pepper. Pepper and George. Pepper and George. Americans tend to give the R a harder enunciation than, say, the Brits. Like if I said Aris, they'd say it like Aris. Aris. Was. But I mean, the American way to say ours is ass. So you like drop the R entirely. So probably not a great, uh... Oh. Whoa. Elephants are awesome. This is the elephant temple where the monks await the next appearance. Oh. Not even gonna acknowledge the fact that I found your fucking marbles? Okay. But like, it happens when you don't leave a space before the and. I don't know what any of you are talking about. I'm the only person who doesn't speak in an accent. Good day, Mr. Elephant. Okay. 
Oh, the Lucky Elephant Tavern. Why would I need to come to a tavern? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to throw him a chicken. I guess I'll walk back here. Oh. Welcome to the Lucky Elephant Tavern. It is an honor to have you in the kingdom, Elephant Yono. Let me offer you a mug of warm milk to restore your strength. I assume that means strength. Oh. Where the fuck's my warm milk? Theater. Theater. Interior crocodile alligator. I drive a Chevrolet movie theater. Hey. Hey. Ha ha ha. Ho ho ho. He he he. Ha 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 ha. I just thought of a really funny joke. Oh, never mind. Only me and my baby brother would get it. Hey. Ha ha ha. Ho ho ho. He he he. Okay. I'm sure it's hilarious, dude. I think it's... I think the issue is that it's such a common sound for Aussies, you don't even register it as an R. No, I'm sure that... You know. I'm sure I am doing whatever you say I'm doing. But yeah. Obviously, it's really hard to hear your own accent. Like, you can't distinguish it that well. Hello. Hello. I am Hello. I am Hello. Hello. Hey. I can't let you in. Hey. I can't let you inside to see my son. You might smell in messages from that guy, Julie. She's no good for him, you know. My son needs to hook up with a pot. My son needs to hook up with a pirate or something. A girl with some action in her? What? A bizarre man. A girl with some action in her. A quiet and bookish girl like Julie will only enable his already alarming leanings towards poetry and such nonsense. I simply can't let you inside. Hey! I won't be able to stand guard outside this door forever. I must be off on an important business mission to Freehaven shortly. I trust you won't sneak any phantom messages to my son in my absence. Hey! Hey! You gotta go some squirrels fucking your tomatoes? I assume you mean fucking with, but I guess I don't know. But uh, yeah, we'll see you around, Lou. Didn't even know you had tomatoes. Okay, I just threw that chicken off into the void. I didn't even know that was an option. Oh, I can pick up a book. But seriously, oh, okay. You weren't being serious about the squirrel fucking your tomatoes. You need to go? Have a good stream? Well, yep, okay, bye Lou. We won't be going for too much longer. We're almost at the... at the end. The trade between humans and Makani goes by sea between Nightingale City and Freehaven, but it is entirely controlled by Nightingale City. They force us to pay high taxes and a tariff on everything we trade, which means Freehaven remains a scrappy outpost. Ah, so the Makani... do have legitimate grounds. Or uh, complaining about this whole rule. Root being ruled over by the human queen. We are trying to find ways of getting around the tariff, if you know what I mean. Wait, what? We are trying to find ways of getting around the tariff, if you know what I mean. Is he talking about like the black market? Bootlegging? I have a fake manifest here for a shipment of manufactured goods from Freehaven, but it needs an official stamp before we can show it to the harbor master. Luckily, we have a human sympathizer who works in the queen's guard and has better access to official document. What is going on? Now we're doing fucking... We're, we're helping like bootleggers? Or are we gonna turn these bootleggers in? Could you take this fake cargo manifest to our friend in the Queen's Guard? 
Get the stamp, then give it to the harbor master. The harbor master's office is located by the docks, downtown from the Elephant Temple. Our sympathizer guard is the fourth guard from the entrance in the Queen's throne room. Um. Okay. What a weird game this is. Who injected all this political intrigue into this game? <gasps> Welcome to Madame, Madame Maxime, Maximel. I am your go-to fortune teller for all things psychic. What can I tell you about your future, my dear? I'm an elephant. I'm here to save the world. What can you tell me? Absolutely nothing, that's what. Without my crystal ball, I am completely helpless in the void beyond. My no-good sister has nicked it, and is trying to use it for herself, despite having no talent whatsoever in the matters of clairvoyance. Your sister? Is she a medium as well? Susanna told me to tell you I from her. Who is Susanna? Big Hattie? And why does she know Lou? Well, I'd say she's more of a small. Ah, okay, that's that's your lady friend. Okay. But here you come, a tall dark stranger, to fetch my crystal bowl back for me, no? I'll see what I can do. So we gotta find a crystal ball. We've got a fake manifest that we need stamping. Hey. I wonder if I can hand this hey. to the guards. Hey, is this the chicken I threw? Oh no, it's walking. Oh wait, no, I need I need that manifest. I can't. And this must be the harbor masters. Ooh, the harbor is on fire. The ducks are on fire. Well, I think we can call it here for today. We've uh, made it to uh, Nightingale. We've found out who the princess is. There's a war brewing. And um, we're... Trying to avoid paying taxes, I guess. What a strange game this has turned out to be. I thought this would be more of a just a carefree romp, but every I feel like there are uh, rumblings afoot. Something is not right in the state of Denmark. Um, now, as for full guys, that should be back next week, I think. Maybe I'll start adding another day to my roster to do play through Yono and the Celestial Elephants, or maybe uh, this will just become a sometimes game whenever I feel like taking a break from other things. I'm not sh quite sure yet, but uh, next up we have uh, an off stream on uh, what? Don't call me a chubby elephant, uh, Arf. Um, we have an off stream on Sunday, that's at 10, which is the same time that this stream started. So, uh, yeah, that's the next big thing. And then, what's after that? Then, I guess, Witness Wednesday. Oh, actually, no. There, I have heard rumblings that there may be a Hattie stream sometime next week. Uh, we haven't locked in any kind of dates, but uh, keep an eye out for that and make sure you're following Big Hattie if you're not already. Um... Uh, and then, yeah, after that, uh, Witness Wednesdays will be at its usual time. Actually, I'm thinking of moving, uh, Witness Wednesdays for a couple of hours so that they start at the same time as, uh, this stream does, so I don't know. But, uh, other than that, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys here at the same time, uh, next Friday for, uh, more Fall Guys. And... Now it is time to check who we are going to raid. Uh, who is online at the moment? Uh, 
Uh, oh, Lou has just gone live. So I guess we'll go, uh, yeah, we'll go raid uh, Lou, I guess. Then it is a matter of slash raid. Oh, I can do shout outs now? Oh, that's new. Okay, I want to do that. Let me shout out Addy. Do I have to do the... Can I do the at? Does that work? Yeah, it does work. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, okay, now let's do the raid. I don't know, but maybe you should follow him, Hattie. Uh... Now, that should be... Oh, good, yeah. All right, uh, yeah. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks to uh, Narf, Hattie, Lou, of course, who were just about to raid. Uh, who else was here? Magoop. Uh, neat, thanks for stopping by. Um, I think that's everyone who at least popped into the chat. Uh, another good stream. Uh, I enjoyed uh, Yono. And I definitely will be coming back to this game sometime soon. Uh, I'm leaning towards making it a regular thing. Adding another day to my schedule. Uh, but we'll see. We will see. Now, let's get going.